If I have one talent in life, it's that I still have a childlike approach to design. I try to keep my mind and my eyes wide open and have no preconceived notions about anything. I've based my whole career on the idea that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I see the beauty in ugly things, thrift shops, flea markets, 1970s Americana, colonial era portraits. I like to find the potential in things that typically people overlook. I think that people are innately creative. When you're a creative person, you just make stuff. I love flea markets and antique shops because they're full of stuff that somebody felt compelled to make. I'm compelled to make stuff. Every day I wake up and I'm just like, I have to make something, I have to make something, I have to make something. When I walk into an antique shop or a flea market, I feel the ghosts of like-minded folk who obviously wake up and had to make something. Like, Leonora69 probably was a secretary who just had to make something. And so she went to class and made something. And I'm just like, Leonora69, I feel you. FZ96 woke up and thought, I can't wait to get to my pottery class so I can make some freaky ass thing. And I'm like, FZ, mm-hmm. So I think I love antique shops and thrift stores because they are monuments to creativity, even more so than museums because they have more stuff in them. You know, I think there's so many things that take on a cultural context that are great and you just need some time to reappreciate them. This chair was the most gnarly, golden girlsy thing on earth. Like, it just looked terrible. Cut to, it's great. The lines are great. Like, look at that. That's a beautiful shape. It's really organic. Victorians kind of knew what time it was, and it's actually kind of comfy. Right now, I'm obsessed with brass. Like, I do everything in brass. Brass was like the color of colonial depression, and colonial depression can look good. It's kind of like has this weird, like, soft porn connotation. You know, it has like a Victoriana 70s feel. The 1970s, when I was coming up, are a bittersweet time in American history. It was burnt orange, the pacer. It was kind of groovy, actually. The design of the 70s really inspires me to this day. And I guess I see the beauty and the ugliness of the 70s. And I don't know that everybody sees that, and I think they should. Macrame was the 1970s, so we all know it. Everybody's like grandmother or aunt did it. But it's one of those things where you, you sort of see macrame and think like, ugh, macrame hate. Cut to Andy Harmon who like f***ed it up and made it massive and took this thing that we're all familiar with and just by playing with scale and craft made it into this incredible art piece. Andy works with the biggest rope he can possibly handle and apparently at the end of making this owl, his hands were just completely f***ed up and raw and bloody. You have to suffer for art. And also it's like, you go into my house and you turn a corner and there's just this big ass owl staring out at you and just owning the wall. It's like, check this out, this is just rope. Hello? Hello. Good design is considered design. I don't care if you're into like granny chic or minimalism, it's just got to be something that you actually have spent time and thought on. So I'm not a snob in any way, shape, or form stylistically. I am a snob about laziness. This is something that my mom made and it was hanging in my house growing up. And my house growing up was kind of this groovy modernist house. It was very, very chic and had lots of couture stuff and great art. And when my parents were decorating it and they needed a chandelier of the dining room table, my mother made this styrofoam cup chandelier. And to me, it's like everything that design should be. It's high, it's low, it's chic, it's modern, it's decorative, and it makes you think. It represents the idea that creativity is what you want it to be. Things don't need to be expensive, they just need to be creative. I think you can't be truly creative unless you stop being judgmental. Judgmental about stuff other people make and stop being judgmental about yourself while you're making something. I think you've got to free your mind and that's when magic happens. Sometimes I wonder who's the baby of the family. Is it Liberace or Johnny? Just kidding. <laughs> Except not really. There's a little competition for Sliman's attention. Unfortunately, the winner, it's not right. I like to breastfeed him on this couch. <laughs>